Hello everybody and welcome. My name is Brady Erickson. I'm with the technical support team here at Amtrol. And today's tech take is going to be on wiring the mechanical Aquastat for our Boilermate series. This is going to be good for any Boilermate you have, whether it's old or new. Um, the wiring is going to be exactly the same um, for your standard mechanical Aquastat. So this does not include uh, the switching relay that came with some of our units. This is just the mechanical Aquastat. Uh, we'll cover all of those today and get you set up and ready to go. So without further ado, we're going to jump in on whiteboard here and we're going to take a look at some of this wiring. So the first setup we have, and a very common setup, is going to be with a switching relay, which you see in the top right of my screen here. That switching relay could be anything from a, a single zone relay, four zone relay, anything you would have on, on, a, on one of your heating systems. So in order to use this, it's actually very, very simple. The two wires on your mechanical aquastat, those two uh, larger gauge black wires, they're interchangeable, they're just thermostat wires. They're meant to be used as TT inputs. So with that aquastat, we run those two wires over to our TT inputs and we'd be good to go. Very straightforward, very simple. Every time that Aquastat calls for heat for the boiler mate, it will activate that zone on your switching relay, which turns on your circulators, fires on your boiler, your furnace, whatever you have, and will get heat over to your hot water maker. So very straightforward. Another common application uh, for these installations is with uh, direct zone valves, uh, so right into the zone valve itself. In order to utilize this, you will need a transformer, which I have on the bottom right here, which is gonna take your high voltage down to your low voltage. What we'll need to do is you'll take the hotline from that transformer, hook it up to one of the lines of that Aquastat. Again, they're interchangeable, so it doesn't matter which one you use here. The other line, you're gonna to wanna to run over to your zone valve. Uh, for example, um, some of the zone valves out there, you have uh, your three connection and your four connection zone valves. Um, usually you're gonna want terminal number one. However, do check your manufacturer's instructions for your zone valve to make sure we're hooking up to the right, the right one. Um, that way everything's working good and well. Um, generally speaking, um, another zone, you know, terminal two will be head back over to that transformer and then you can see there how that connection is made where every time that Aquastat calls for heat, it'll send power over to that, that zone valve, um, make that connection, which is going to open it up. And then your other end here will be over to that boiler or furnace, which gets everything up and running. Uh, so again, very, very straightforward there. Again, always check your manufacturer's instructions for the zone valves, for the switching relays to make sure we're hooking them up properly. Uh, but from the mechanical Aquastat's perspective, uh, you just have to worry about those two wires, those two TT terminals. Uh, just for a reference, um, we talked about switching relays, we talked about zone valves, just to get a quick look at what those look like. Um, on the table here, I have a Taco SR504, you know, a very common four zone relay out there. Um, if you were to open it up right on the top side, you'll have your four zones. The fourth zone is your priority zone. It's very important to mention that you always want your hot water maker to be your priority zone. Um, you need that to get heat um, efficiently and solely the only zone getting your heat. That way you get the recovery you're expecting from your boiler mate. Uh, so those two Aquastat wires would hook right up into your TT right on top here for zone four, and then you'd be good to go. So very straightforward. Um, the other example we had is a zone valve. So here I have a zone valve and a transformer. So the transformer, you're gonna have your high voltage coming in one side, low voltage coming out the other side from these terminals. And then on your zone head, again, this is that three terminal zone head. Uh, if you have a four terminal, again, just make sure you read those manufacturer's instructions. It's going to be very, very similar. Um, but zone one, uh, excuse me, terminal one is what you'd want on this zone head uh, to get that, that thing activated, opened up, and be good to go. So very straightforward. Um, something we did want to go through, though, uh, we get a lot of questions on hooking up these mechanical aquastats, so hopefully this helped a bit. Again, if there's any questions or comments on what we have, maybe something that didn't fit into your application specifically, um, either give us a call or shoot us an email. Visit our website at amtrail.com. We'd be happy to assist you. So thank you very much for watching today's Tech Talk. We hope to see you guys next time.